if you're watching this video, chances are you have a PowerVision fuel map that you'd like to open on your computer and send over to your PowerVision. Today, I'll be walking you through how to do these steps on a Windows computer. Uh, I will be using Internet Explorer, and Gmail is what I have for email. So the first step is to actually install the WinPV software. And some of you might think that installing from the CD would be the, the best starting point. But if you have access to the internet, chances are you're going to want to grab the latest version of WinPV. To do so, let's pull up the Fuel Moto website. I'm going to open Internet Explorer and pull up the Fuel Moto website. Once the website loads, you'll notice that on the top left hand side, EFI tuning modules is the option and Power Vision is the top option. Let's go ahead and left click on Power Vision. That will bring up the Power Vision download page. There are several other instructional guides and great resources here, but today we're just going to go to the downloads. Now there are two options for Power Vision software, 32-bit or 64-bit. If you're running Windows XP, chances are you're 32-bit. And if you are running Windows 8, it is 64-bit. If you're not sure and you have Windows 7, a great resource is to go ahead and left click on the start button, go up to my computer, right click, and finally select properties. This will bring up a dialog box and in the middle is what we care about, our system type. Mine is a 64-bit operating system. Once you've determined your system type, go ahead and left click on close. I need 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and left click on download next to 64-bit. I'll be presented with an option at the bottom of the screen asking if I'd like to run or save the software. I'm going to go ahead and actually left click on the arrow next to save, which is going to give me an option to save as, as I would like to save this software right to the desktop. If this box does not bring you automatically to your desktop, go ahead and left click on desktop now and then click on save. This is going to then download the software, run a security scan to make sure it's safe, and then inform us that the download's complete. Once the secu security scan has completed, let's go ahead and left click on run. This will launch the PowerVision software installation. We'll go ahead and click on next, accept the terms in the license agreement, click next and finally install. Now each computer is different depending on your security settings. I know mine is going to ask for permission to install the software and then finally ask for permission to install the driver so it actually knows what the PowerVision is. Your computer may install quicker or may take longer than this video, but today I'm going to show you the complete steps. At this point we are being asked for permission to install the software. As I stated earlier, you do want to click yes. Now you'll see the installation completing and we'll be presented with one more box asking for permission to install the driver. You do need to click install to this otherwise it will not recognize your power vision. And finally we'll go ahead and left click on finish. All right now that the power vision software is installed you'll see that a new icon is on your desktop named WinPV. We, now would be a good time to go ahead and connect your PowerVision to the computer using the USB cable. We'll go ahead and wait for the PowerVision to boot up and it will at first show, show the DinoJet logo. Next it will say PC Link Mode Active. Once you've got that message on your screen go ahead and continue the video. My PowerVision does say PC Link Mode Active so I'm going to continue. We'll go back to the internet because I'm going to pull up my email. I need to get the custom fuel map from Fuel Moto off of my email. So first I'm going to go ahead and open the email and each email client might be different. Today I'm using Gmail. Gmail puts the attachments at the bottom. So here is the custom fuel map. You'll see it ends in .pvt or PowerVision Tune. We're going to go ahead and left click on download. And just like earlier, we're going to go ahead and left click on that arrow next to save and select save as. Again, making it easier to locate this custom fuel map on our desktop. Again, if it does not default to your desktop, go ahead and left click desktop now and then click save. 
The custom fuel map is rather small in size, so it should download relatively quickly. We're now done online, so we can close out of Internet Explorer and giving it permission to close all tabs if asked. You'll see the custom fuel map on the desktop, and you'll see WinPV. We need to open WinPV, not double-click the map file. So we'll double-click WinPV to open Windows PowerVision, and now we'll select Open. If not automatically on the desktop, go ahead and left-click Desktop, and you'll see the custom fuel map right here. Left click on it one time and then select open. We now have the custom fuel map open in WinPV. Now that we have the custom map open in WinPV, we're going to go ahead and left click on send tune. You'll see the communication with the PowerVision begin to take place and a new dialog box should open shortly. In this box, we actually have the ability to rename the custom fuel map. This name does not affect the tune in any way, shape or form and the most important part, the custom tune slot. When you bring down the Dropbox, you'll see there are six empty slots. We'll go ahead and select the first custom tune slot. Left clicking OK, which will then finally bring us a dialog box saying saved. And that is the confirmation that the custom map is on your PowerVision. That will complete our video today. I hope that it was a good guide to walk you through. We'd welcome you to check out our other videos you can see them on our website, fuelmotousa.com. Thank you. Have a great day.